Hey there, electricity enthusiasts. Welcome back to another episode of Electricity Frenzy. I'm thrilled to be your host, the author of this channel and an electrical engineer with a decade of experience. Today, we're diving into a common problem that many homeowners face, low voltage in the home. We'll explore what causes it, how to identify the issue, and most importantly, how to solve it. So, let's get started. First off, let's understand what the low voltage problem is. As an electrical engineer, I've seen this issue crop up time and again. It occurs when the electrical voltage supplied to your home drops below the standard level, typically around 120 volts in the United States. And trust me, this drop in voltage can wreak havoc on your electrical devices and appliances. Now, let's delve into the causes of low voltage. Drawing from my decade of experience, I can tell you that there are several factors that contribute to this problem. One common cause is overloaded circuits, where too many devices are connected to a single circuit. Another culprit is undersized wiring, where the electrical wiring in your home isn't up to par with the electrical load it needs to carry. We also have to consider faulty wiring, long distances from the power source, and power grid issues that can all lead to low voltage situations. But fear not, because we're here to solve this low voltage puzzle together. So, how do we identify the cause of low voltage in your home? Let's put on our detective hats and follow these steps. Start by checking multiple outlets using a voltage tester or multimeter to see if the voltage consistently dips or fluctuates. Next, test different circuits to see if the low voltage is limited to specific areas. And if the issue seems to affect your whole neighborhood, it's time to contact your utility company to check for any known power supply issues. Now, let's get to the exciting part, solving the low voltage problem. And as an electrical engineer, I have an ace up my sleeve. Along with the previously mentioned solutions, there's another effective option, using a voltage stabilizer. These nifty devices, also known as voltage regulators, help regulate and stabilize the voltage supplied to your home, even during pesky fluctuations in the power supply. To implement this solution, it's best to consult with a licensed electrician. Together, you'll assess your electrical system and recommend an appropriate voltage stabilizer. Trust me, I've seen firsthand how these devices work wonders. I'll ensure it's properly installed and seamlessly integrated into your electrical panel. However, it's crucial to remember that while voltage stabilizers address fluctuations, they won't fix underlying issues like overloaded circuits or faulty wiring. So, we'll tackle those as well to ensure a long-term solution. And there you have it, my fellow electricity enthusiasts. We've delved into the low voltage problem in homes, its causes, how to identify the issue, and the solution of using a voltage stabilizer. As always, safety comes first, so remember to consult a professional electrician, like yours truly, for any electrical concerns. Thanks for joining me today on this electrifying journey, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more exciting content. Until next time, stay charged.